up YouTubers. Now I'm not gonna handle music or anything for that because no copyright music now. YouTube is changing a lot of things now where you will get copyright even though you're using someone else's music. I've been getting copyrights left and right and starting to really know me. But there is no instructions on how to install these. But if you look closely, right here's the beauty rings is what I call it. They have like micro notice this too. They have like a little deep disc and then that sits basically it goes the deep disc goes on the outside and this goes just like so same thing on the other side you got deep dishes you have four of them on each tire I don't know like that oh I know Okay, this one's flat, this one's flat, so the flat ones go on behind the tire because they can see they got the little screw holes, so they go just like that, and then you got the upper ones that go on the outside and the flat ones on the back side. Okay, well, I'm learning as I go. And then here is all the screws. Yay. Got the dual motors done, as you can see right here. So now I have two motors. They're done. Basically, there's like a little plus. I don't know if anybody can see that. Right there. There is a plus. And a negative is on the other side. Which they gave me two red wires. Instead of one red and one black. So I just hooked it up. Red. Plus to plus. Negative to negative. And hooked up the negative to the black wire. And the positive wire is the red wire. Got that done. Got them in. I was going to do a instruction video on how to do my army truck. Uh, this is a C14 as well. Well, I made a mistake. I ordered two dry shafts instead of three. I decided got, I got on eBay because I want it. I didn't want to wait. I need it now. But it won't be here until sometime December 28th to... January something. I think January 1st or something like that. Or is it January 11th or 7th? Something like that. Which I can don't mind because technically it's come from California, but. But the holiday just basically right around the corner. Too bad I can have the package overnighted. I'll pay the extra. I would pay the extra, but I don't care right now. But so far, all you do here is basically you just put the centers or center cap in. So once I get all four of these done, I'll just come back and show you guys what they look like. And that's what they look like right there. Everything's powered by my drill. Hee hee hee. Makes it easier. But look how cool that looks. There's only a minute or a second for you guys. Like freaking five minutes apart from me. And then also I got a nice little cut from the drill. Just slipped off the screw and hit my hand instead. And my hand stings. But no, I don't care. I'm pushing through. Now I have no idea if I'm doing this right. Okay, I hope I am. I think it goes like that. And then this is kind of goes over like that and clamps the rim. I'm guessing. I don't really know. I've never done this before.
Well, let's get this started. All you gotta do is take my screw, put on my magnetic drill. I don't want to go too far. What I'm going to do is just go lightly to one each side. Do something like that. These things suck. Alright, well, I'm going to pause the camera for a second because I might have this in the room. So, stay tuned. This is what the one tire looks like when it's done. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I got to do the back side. So, I'm going to do this really quickly just to make sure. And then. Tire be like a tad bit bigger, which is pretty cool. I'm excited. Oh, stay tuned for the rest of the build. All right, I'm up to like seven minutes, I guess. But to do it right, it's easier to do the front last, as you can see right here. It's easier to do the back side. Basically, you just try to get the tire where you want it. And you take your back spacer, which is this. And you try lining up with the holes. As best as you could. Now, so I'm going to take each screw. And put it into the hole. I know that didn't sound right, but that's what I said. My back is starting to kill me from sitting too long. I'm trying to do this, I'm tired, I'm wore out. It's freaking 8 o'clock at night, 8 10 by p.m. I think it's Eastern Pacific time. Ugh. There goes CSX mainline going for our house. Uh, no good tiring in here though, but sometimes it does. Now what I'm gonna do is kind of take the screws and make it look like that. That way I can find the holes. Yeah, I got them lined up where I want it. Kindly press down where you think you got it. Take the screw. <laughs> Okay, what the heck? What? How'd I go over there? Okay, whatever. Sometimes it can fight you, sometimes it can't. Now I got it perfectly lined up. Dang it. I've been watching too much of the Loud House. Loud House. I like that TV show. God dang it. Now I don't really screw it, screw it all the way in. Just lightly do it until you get all of them. as much 
easier doing that way. That way you get it where you want it. And then you just find a spot, put some pressure down on the tire, and then just kind of go around it in a star pattern a little bit, but try not to hurt the screws. I didn't know my screw, my uh, drill, I call it screw gun, that's funny, was in reverse, and I actually welded the screw into the rim, and to the, like, the, um, the bead to the, oh, screw to the bead to the rim. Which I'll show you guys here and pretty soon here after I get this all done. I'm happy. My last tire. I'm excited. You guys I have no idea. And you can see where it's been hitting. My hand hurts because the damn Phelps bit. But oh well. Now this one. The front is always the pain in the butt. I don't know why. My first two tires, eh, not so good. My third tire came out pretty good. Minus the screw mounting to the rim to the bead. Trying to get make sure I get everything in the right spot. And then I pull a little pluster to find the hole. Line the bead up, and that's it. Now you can do it one by one. It's I guess it's a little bit easier. That way you can see the hole. Done. I'm almost done, and I can't wait. I'm excited. Not because I get to play with actually drive my truck. Kind of sucks that I can't drive my army truck because I forgot to order dry sales, but no big deal. eBay for the win. There is some parts on eBay you can get. And if Gearbest is watching, thank you for the support and the help. What the heck happened here? Did a screw come out? Or did it come loose? Or what? It was. I don't know. Or... Okay, that makes no sense because they have the holes are not lined up. What the hell? I'm gonna pause the video for a second. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what happened exactly. Well, here's part of my screw. I'm not sure what happened, but obviously it must have missed and broke the screw. I'm going to try this, but I don't know if it's going to work or not. Trying to see if I can push it. Dang it. I hate screws. I give up. <laughs> it looks like a broken 
the rim, I guess. I guess the, uh, I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna judge it. As you can see, there we go. Now it's focusing. The rim is done. This is what the truck looks like with them. I think that looks stunning. Well, I know this is a long, long video. I appreciate whoever watches and that skipping. I appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. Whoever doesn't skip, though. Normally, I never do that. I like using screwdrivers, but... What I was now, I don't have my two bucks anymore. I got my daughter's truck over there because I was thinking about robbing the trash chest off of it, but I decided not to because that'd be mean. And then put like plastic ones on, but I was like, nah, I'll leave it. This is enough. I had to switch up my 370 motor on this truck. I haven't got to drive it since I did the rim mods or rim upgrades. New 370 motor on it. The old one, the new one I got in the mail last night, a couple days ago. Busted on me. Literally, it was sparking inside the case, and I'm like, that's not good. But I didn't mind if I switch. So now, on. Oh yeah, I probably put the battery in, huh? Hey, you better not take off on me. It's like, I'm gonna take off. Nope. Yeah, I got new pants, new boots. I think I'm gonna have to buy a new ECU. <laughs> that is so cool. No issues, looks like, of any sort, of any kind. Doesn't look like anything popped off. Looks like pretty awesome. I think I'm good to go. Take that back. Seriously? I'm better off putting super glue around these damn tires. Thirty fucking dollars. They don't even do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> oh well, I'll leave it like that for a while and then I'll get some super glue and I'll put some super glue around the bead. I don't care if it's glossy looking. But it looks like I gotta get a new ES ESC is what I need to get.
Oh well, I'm just got my two six by sixes to drive and also my army truck here soon. So I'll put this on a pause and probably end up taking these tires and super glue them and go from there. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Later.